Okay, here's what you need to be doing this week, week two. Uh, there's one grade. That's the chapter 18 quiz. You'll take it online, and uh, it's open now. And I leave quizzes open for the four days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It opened at midnight last night. It will stay open until 11.59 p.m. on Thursday. So you have basically 96 hours to work that in. Once you click to start it, you have 10 minutes to count it. The timer starts, you got 10 minutes to finish it. 11 questions, 10 minutes. Um, answers, as I told you before, are worth 10 points each. So if you get all 11 right, you make 110. Your grade is the number of correct answers times 10. If you can't find 10 minutes in 96 hours, you get a zero. If you get a really, really serious situation, where it's really not going to work, email me and tell me about it, and I might show mercy. But it better be good. <laughs> um, got the light behind me there. Let's try this. <clears throat> um, also, uh, the, the content this week is going to be the uh, settlement of the West, or specifically the interior West, and the, uh, the video about uh, mining. It's, it's going to be outlined in terms of uh, industries that brought people into the, you know, the, the Great Plains and the mountains. The first industry was mining. That that one's up. That's the only one up now. My task today will be to be adding to that. There'll be railroading. There'll be uh, the, the cattle industry. There'll be farming. So that will take care of that. And then uh, that's basically um, the first of the two class days we would have had. And then uh, the next thing will be uh, America and the Gilded Age. That's going to go on for a while. So uh, the portion of that would be, uh, I think it's called Changing Values. That's the first, first portion of, uh, of that lengthy chapter uh, from which essay questions could be drawn. Um, so watch the videos. Why? Also during the week, read the equivalent chapters in the supplements. It's the second half of the first chapter, the part about uh, Settlement of the West, and the first section of uh, America in the Gilded Age. While, I won't say while you're watching, but I, it doesn't matter to me which you do first. Read the chapter and then watch the video. Uh, watch the video and then read the chapter right now at this moment. It's, it's like 9.45 in the morning. Uh, on Monday, there's no, um, there's only one video to watch. Now, I'm going to leave the ones from last week up. They're still there if you want to look at them again or if you haven't read them yet. Read them. Watch them yet. Got that right. Okay, I think that's about it. I'll be posting a weekly instructions video each week. Usually, it'll be up when you, when you get here in the morning. Oh, yeah, here, here's what it is. The videos can't be more than 15 minutes long. That breaks it up. You can take it in smaller smaller parts. But um, if, if we were meeting a face-to-face -face class twice a week, that class would last for an hour and 15 minutes. It takes, and some of that would be taken up with introductions and, and, uh, and a, a quiz of some kind. So um, think of it this way. And it takes about four videos to be the equivalent of how much time I would have to present content to you in a face-to-face -face class. So I'm looking at eight videos a week, give or take, and it's going to be tough to, to keep up. I, so far, I don't even take weekends off getting this stuff up. Um, so I have to kind of stay ahead of the pack there. But Whereas I would have to t tell the same story to five different groups, uh, in face-to-face -face classes, here I just do it once and everybody watches it. You do need to be participating, okay? You need to do this stuff or you get behind. Um, if you fall behind, that's difficult because it's much easier to keep up than it is to catch up, okay? My class is not easy, all right? So, so if you fall seriously behind, uh, trying to catch up, keep up while catching up would be impossible. That referred mainly back to when I would give a paper-based chapter quiz and and uh, you could still make it up months later. Uh, let me remind you, the way it is now, as tolerant as this is, 96 hours to work in 10 minutes, um, 
I'm, I'm not going to do makeups anymore. Once it's done, it's done. No makeups and also n no retakes. And uh, so when you start a quiz or an exam, you've got the you've got the time limit to get it done. How to prepare for a chapter quiz? Can't tell you too many times. Chapter quizzes are based on some chapters in the regular textbook, U.S. and Narrative History. And um, our, at the site, you find chapter study questions. There's a set of study questions for each chapter. You can click on it. I recommend printing it out if you have that kind of uh, technology available. And then uh, take the chapter a section at a time. Look over the questions for section one. Always on section one, include the chapter intro. And uh, then read through that section. Then go back and look at the questions again. Write down and check check again anything you don't have uh, or to have familiar familiarity with that kind of thing. So it's very important to read through. Now, if you come in without making any preparation at all, not even read the chapter or anything, and you take the quiz, there's just the law of averages. Eleven questions, you'd get two or three or maybe even four right if it weren't weren't even written in a language you understood. Because there's only three options on each one and one of them's got to be right just reading through the textbook and not making any further preparation that might get you up to 50 to 70 somewhere along there unless you get lucky if you're really looking to make 90s and 100s and 110s it's going to take more preparation so uh, yeah it's college so anyway have, have a good week stay safe and uh, get your stuff done for the week if uh, did I tell you this well, after the week's over, I go back and check check the uh, grade book pages in Canvas. If you don't have a numerical grade for the Chapter 18 quiz, I'll insert a zero, and that'll be that. Okay, have a nice day. Let's see, I'm going to turn this thing off.